Well, it's good to be back in Texas, and I am honored to be joined by Secretary Mayorkas, by Chairman Durbin, by Congresswoman Escobar. Um, we have a day planned that will be about, as much as anything, addressing the effects of what I've already been addressing, which are the root causes of migration, predominantly out of Central America. You've heard me say many times, most people don't want to leave home. And when they do, it is usually because either they are fleeing some type of harm or they cannot take care of the simple and basic needs of their family by staying where they are. And so we are here today to address and to talk about what has brought people to the U.S. border and again to continue to address the root causes which cause people to leave and often flee their home country. So I'm, I'm proud and honored to be with these great leaders. Secretary, I'll let you say some words, and then Chairman and Madam Congresswoman. Thank you very much. To, to build on uh, Madam Vice President's uh, comments, as everyone knows, uh, migration involves a continuum. The Vice President is leading our nation's efforts to address the root causes, that fundamental question of why people leave uh, their homes. It is my responsibility as the Secretary of Homeland Security to address the security and management of our border. Uh, as everyone knows, we faced significant challenges back in March. We've made extraordinary progress. I look forward to sh sharing with the Vice President the progress we've made, the work that remains, and um, I look forward to the day. Thank you. Chairman? Immigration is a critical element in the history and the future of the United States. But when you look at the challenges of immigration today, one of the greatest challenges is Congress has failed to pass any significant change in immigration laws in 35 years. We have a broken immigration system. Many people complain about it, but it's up to Congress to do something about it. As chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee, I take that responsibility very seriously. I'm glad to be back in El Paso. I'm glad to be here with the Vice President. I'm glad that she's taken the initiative under the direction of President Biden so that we can take an honest look at the challenge of immigration today. Thank you. Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to El Paso. Welcome to my community, to the new Ellis Island, to the capital of the border. I am standing before you with a heart full of gratitude uh, Madam uh, Vice President, thank you for being here. So grateful to Secretary Mayorkas, to Chairman Durbin, and to all of you for making the journey. Um, this is a really important day, and um, I, I have a heart full of gratitude because we finally have an administration willing to tackle the big challenges, challenges that our country has dealt with for decades, um, willing to tackle challenges in a meaningful, thoughtful, strategic, compassionate way, and that means starting with root causes and understanding what's driving people from their home, what's making them arrive at our nation's front door. And El Paso's front door is one that has always been one of dignity and humanity and compassion. And so I look forward to today and, and everything that we will all learn and explore together. Thank we have you. time for about one question. How did you decide that right now? now was the right time to make your first trip to the border? Well, it's not my first trip. I've been to the border many times. I'm the person in charge of the response. So the, the important aspect of this visit is leading this visit after the work that we did in Guatemala and Mexico. Because as I've long said, I said back in March I was going to come to the border, so this is not a new plan. But the reality of it is that we have to deal with causes and we have to deal with the effects. So being in Guatemala, being in Mexico, talking with Mexico as a partner, frankly, on the issue, was about addressing the causes and then coming to the border at the, at the advice and, the, and actually the, the invitation of the Congresswoman uh, is about looking at the effects of what we have seen happening in Central America. And um, so I'm glad to be here. It was always the plan to come here. And I think we're going to have a good and productive day. Why did you think now was the time? All right. All right. Okay, so let's just say, I'm going to get it out of here.